first guest is an acclaimed actor who's lent his trademark intensity to more than 20 films over the last 20 years. And now you can see him every week right here on CBS as an ex-CIA agent who's stopping crimes before they're committed on the hit show Person of Interest. Take a look. This guy you're talking to is my CI. He's a confidential informant. And money launderer for the late Dom Moretti. Hey, I've got some questions for him. You were risking his cover by even approaching him. Let's go. What do you want? Just to ask me some questions? Funny. I've got a few of those for you too, Harold. Yeah, I could never get on. Really? Are you yeah. 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 What? I, I, at one point, I said, okay, uh, about three days, I'm going to really work at it. And uh, this character was very arrogant. So I said, I will be arrogant. I walked in, and I got a phone call from my agent, and she they said, the casting director said, I'll never have that guy in again. He's the <gasps> most arrogant guy I've ever met. Oh, no. <laughs> So, so you're obviously amazing at your job. No, but it's great to be here with you. It's him. really nice. It's really nice to be here. Oh, I think that's a, that's, a, that's a perfect segue to my next question, because as an actor, you are known for being, you know, very intense. You have just a very kind of focused, intense guy. So, yeah. you've, But there's got to be something goofy about you in your real life. <laughs> <laughs> Anything at all? All you got to do is ask my wife. Um, <laughs> she always says the Count of Monte Cristo doesn't take out her garbage in the morning. <laughs> Your account. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been married 20 years, and you guys might, met on a blind date. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen, oh, 15 years. years. Yeah. Fantastic. Dated for three. Okay. Uh, and, and tell me about this blind date. Yeah. Like what? Uh, she, my sister, had told me about her, and uh, I finally got the uh, guts to, to call her, um, and uh, I asked her if she'd meet at this department store. And she safe, said, ah, safe, safe. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, my problem is, is that when I really like somebody, I like them too much, and I, then they usually walked away. So my goal here was, all right, um, when I meet with her, just don't act like you like her. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, heck, I'm 24 years old at the time, and uh, we, uh, uh, she, we only had like uh, maybe two hours to get to know one another, but she shows up 45 minutes late. And I'm supposed to be sitting at this bench, and I, after about an hour, I just said, gee, I'm not going to sit here anymore. And I walked over, and I sat with the piano player, uh, you know, at the department store, and he's playing away, and he starts playing songs, and then girls would walk in, and we'd say, yeah, I hope it's not that girl. <laughs> Finally, she walked in, and I said, oh, I'm in trouble. And uh, then all that, that burning desire to want to be with her started coming up. I walked over and I started uh, uh, doing stupid things like uh, taking clothes and messing them up and then acting like, hey, say, excuse me, ma'am, uh, um, are you looking for uh, something or someone? She goes, yeah, I think I'm looking for you. And now that I know her better, I thought she had that look in her eye like, I think this guy's a crazy guy. <laughs> No, it sounds like love at first sight. I'm yeah. sticking with that. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I heard you were struck by lightning at some point. Yeah, I well, did. Just don't hang out with me at the with the with the golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> what did that feel like? Uh, I don't know. I, I seem to be getting over it. <laughs> <laughs> did you know you had been struck by lightning, or yeah, did you, you just fall out? No, you know it. Trust me, you know. Right? Yeah. Really? I, I, I could. It was like um, it looked. Everything was um, uh, like sparkles. Red. Wow. And, oh, really? Uh, you literally you, were fried. You yeah. were seeing like sparks. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could feel it. And, but it's the reaction from the, you know, the several hundred people that are watching that know right. that <laughs> something happened <laughs> when they get away from you. <laughs> hey, congratulations on Person of Interest and the success of that show. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen it, tell why is it called Person of Interest? Explain who Person of Interest is. Well, we all are. 
people of interest, mm -hmm. how I like to think of it. And the character I play, yeah, he's a special forces uh, former uh, uh, CIA, but he's also a bully killer. And yeah. uh, he believes right, wrong, black, white, good versus evil. And uh, those ideals have been broken a bit, but deep down he has an objective, and that is to um, you know, fight the, those elements out there that well, other people can't do it. He wants to be there for them. Um, there's a machine. The machine can predict uh, when a crime is going to happen. It's through a social security number that shows up randomly. But the whole th uh, thing uh, with it is we don't know if they're going to be the victim or the perpetrator. Now, now you shoot on, on the streets of New York. Have you ever had any crazy encounters with people? Man. Oh, you know it. <laughs> uh, they, uh, I remember during the pilot, uh, we were, uh, Michael Emer Emerson and I were walking across the street, but at this time I'm, I'm uh, dressed as a bum. I have a uh, long beard on and long hair, and people know who Michael Emerson is. Is, but, but they don't know who recognize I am. you. So this come, guy comes walking through the, and he has these two bodyguards, and I'm walking next to him, and he's telling me how the machine works and everything. And this guy walks in between us, and uh, I tap him on the shoulder. And I say, "Hey, get out of here!" And in the Reese voice, and the guy like freaking out, thinking that Michael Emerson's hanging out with bums or something. <laughs> <laughs> we walk over there, and I have to beat these two bodyguards up, and. Uh, I see these guys making an attempt to walk over to get in it because this is New York City. Yeah. Right. A lot of these guys are great, you know, boxers and fighters, and typical New Yorkers will, uh, they'll get involved. <laughs> yeah. So oh you just saw God. a bum beating up these two guys. They, well, the cameras are so far off, they don't oh, know. Oh, they don't know. Oh. They don't it's know a, that it's we're It's a great show. Here. It's a great show. I wish you and Taraji oh, would kind of. Kinda... Well, we will see what happens. <laughs> Tim Caviezel, everyone. Jim, thank you for coming on. You can watch Person of Interest tonight and every Thursday night at 9.